today we are going to discuss on the critical appreciation of the wasteland by T S Eliot introduction the wasteland is the most important and great achievement of T S Eliot and the poem symbolizes modern civilization which is compared to a wasteland the poem contains 433 lines and it has five sections namely the burial of the dead a game of chess the fire sermon death by water and what the thunder said theme of the poem the important theme of the poem of wasteland can be compared to that of matthew arnold's scholar gypsy theme the main theme of these poems are a criticism of life that is an interpretation of its problem and also both the poems painfully brings bring about the sickness the fever the fret of contemporary civilization and wasteland laments over man's fallen nature a prophecy and a promise one of the important themes of the poem is a vision of dissolution and spiritual drought drought means the barrenness here the spiritual drought arises out of degeneration vulgarization and commercialization of sex so here t s eliot painfully laments for the sex act which is a source of life and vitality but here it has two different nature one is when it is exercised for the sake of procreation then it is good but when it is merely exercised for bodily pleasure naturally it ends in degeneration and corruption another important theme of the poem is sexual perversion that is the middle class people or generally the people of the modern age engage themselves in mechanical relationship of sexual encounters here it is brought out with the help of the typist and the clerk the typist and the clerk they make all sorts of sex but with only mechanical mood so here the absence of feeling is the measure of sterility of age according to clenet brook one of the critics of the poem he says that the poem the main theme of the poem is life in death life in death means we are leading a deathly life which suggests the christian theme of life in death and death in life structure of the poem the structure of the wasteland is not progressive which means that it is in a circular way so again and again t s eliot talks about the same idea with so many images but he extract the out, out at most effect of the images in a roundabout way it there is a built up of contrast with this images and also t s eliot has used ironically dramatic incidents in this poem to bring about the modern life set against the memories of the myths but he constantly both the memories of the myth and the modern life set are melt into to, into together and they form a whole so here once again the repetition of images is also found in the poem mythical background wasteland has been criticized a series of poems however eliot has used a number of devices to import unity to his material one such method is use of myths in the poem myth the ancient stories eliot himself acknowledges that he was influenced by the mythical anthropological works such as Jesse Weston's from ritual to romance and James Fraser's the golden bough from Weston's ritual to romance he has taken the legend of grail and the fisher king and from golden bough he has taken the mythical figures like atis adonis and osiris symbolism in the poem Symbolism is one of the important features of wasteland. T. S. Eliot takes recourse from the conventional symbols as well as his personal symbols. 
Say for example, the personal symbol, the very first line, April is the cruelest month. While April is celebrated in Christian community as a holy month, here he goes against the conventional view and he introduces his own personal view saying that April is the cruelest month because it is meant for recreation and procreation but in the modern world man indulges himself in mechanical recreation that is why he says April is the cruelest month and here he generally draws the symbol from myths and religion say for example spring stands for rebirth winter for death rain for spiritual fertility and drought for spiritual dryness fishing symbolizes spiritual rebirth and rejuvenation water symbolizes destruction as well as transformation and purification so like that fire symbolizes lust passion which are destructive but it also symbolizes both death and rejuvenation but very often T.S. Eliot symbol are complex and incomprehensible so you cannot understand it very easily from the very first reading itself say for example the title of the second part a game of chess symbolizes sex intrigue and counter intrigue which means that the stalemate in family life in the contemporary wasteland so once again he reiterates the point that in the modern world man indulges himself in mechanical sexual life and finally uh, he ends the poem with the hope that there is a sprouting of spirituality in the modern age and that is also uh, symbolized with the help of uh, many things spiritual social here the london bridge falling down the earth cracking and splitting all these things they symbolize spiritual social and political disintegration of post war europe philomela philomela and her song are symbols of spiritual rejuvenation the type is turning the gramophone after her seduction with automatic hand symbolizes indifference in men and women in all sexual values so here very important the speaker of the poem or ts eliot himself tiresias himself is a complex symbol and the symbol of human sciences the spoke person of humanity use of poetic devices wasteland can be considered as eliot's literary workshop so he has used many poetic devices to explicate his craft underlying symbolism is one of the poetic devices he has used in the poem Eliot makes frequent use of new words, strange instances and subtle allusions in his poem. And the allusion recall Buddhist memories from Dante, Jacobian drama, Buddhism, mythology, anthropology and the Indian Upanishads and effectively convey the sense of barrenness and decay of the chaotic civilization. One is struck by the vigor and beauty of much of the details. the ironic pictures of modern manners the superb mingling of satiric vulgarity and sensuous delicacy variety of imagery and rhythm and repetition of images is also one of the devices that ts eliot has used in this poem to reiterate the theme that is spiritual sterility in modern life and the poet's hopes for a rejuvenation of spiritual life conclusion T.S. Eliot thus from his sense of rejection of modern man's spiritually sterile life to a hopeful future which man may begin his spiritual career again with Datta which means charity, Dhyatva means compassion and Dhamyata means self-control. In his self-annihilated state as T.S. Eliot hopes God give us the mental peace that is shanti 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 which leads the human being to enlightenment thank you if you like this channel do support us